So this afternoon we're here at Precision Technology and Precision Technology design and build production lines for various factories. So I'm here with John and we're going to be looking at some mask and um, production line machinery that they, they've built. So tell me about this machinery, John. Okay, so we're going to introduce the uh, BF608, which is a uh, rectangular mask machine, which, has, uh, which is fully automated. Everywhere from the materials, raw materials, to the packing. So what we're able to do is uh, build the mask, attach the ear loop automatically, then transfer that to the packing machine. So, so this makes a production very cost effective, is that right? Yeah, if essentially that you really only need one person to monitor the machines. Uh, there can be one person standing between machine number one and machine number two. Mm -hmm. So we have the capacity to be able to add a third e-loop machine. So essentially this system allows you to have either one e-loop machine, two e-loop machine or three e-loop machines. Okay, so let's go and have a look at the machine. It's this one over here, not this yeah. one. Oh. Yeah, okay. So the machine starts here with the raw materials. So just tell me a bit about what, what's going on here with these raw materials. Okay, so this is the raw material rack, and we start with the this is a raw material rack. We start with the nose loop uh, material. So this is the bit of metal that you, you kind of mould around your nose to keep the mask sort of tight fitting. Correct. You, you need this to make sure that there's no air escaping from there. Mm -hmm. So then we move to, we start from the outer material. So this is a, called a non-woven material for the outside of the mask. Uh -huh. In the centre is what called melt blown material. So this melt blown material is the one that keeps uh, the viruses or any of the, the uh, germs passing through uh, yeah. uh, from passing through, correct. And this is uh, also a non-woven material, but it's an internal uh, non-woven material, which is uh, more non-allergenic. Uh -huh. Okay, so in this machine, currently we have the, uh, the raw material um, rack, and you can see that we have the capacity to add another um, oh. another layer into the so, so this machine can do three four layer masks yeah it can do anything uh, some of the the masks that it produces are the rectangular mask they're rectangular masks some of the masks that they produce are ones that are for uh, disposable and then also for um, utility uh -huh. and then medical so in some cases they use two layers if you have a breathing problem but you want to make sure that you get some protection they uh -huh. have two layers okay and they may leave out the the, the melt blown material uh -huh. so that it's easier to breathe through there but you still have the protection of this waterproof material if someone coughs on you oh, i see okay and then after the raw material so the raw material gets brought together here now tell me about what's happening here because this looks like it's kind of pleating the material this is a fold mold uh -huh. right? So this is a mould that does the folding. So what it does is there we need to, to reduce the width of the mask. Mm -hmm. Otherwise the mask is, uh, is just uh, all in one piece. So what we end up doing is we use a, a mould for folding the mask. So here we're able to add more in here or less or have different depth in there so that we can adjust the width of the mask. Okay. Once it comes past here what it does is this is, this is to ensure that the fold is maintained as it goes uh -huh. through. Okay, so this is uh, very important that this can open like a concertina when you're wearing the mask so that it can go over your chin. Okay, and then is this where the, the nose piece gets folded into the mask here? Correct. As you see it comes to this last layer, what it does is it's got a, a guide that folds this up mm -hmm. and then the nose uh, mold material goes through and then it loops the material over the top of the nose okay, mold Okay, so it material. folds it in. It folds yeah, it in. Yeah, yeah. Before it goes into the welding drum. This uh -huh. is called the welding drum. What this does then is it melts the, uh, it welds the materials together. So this gets warm, hot. Correct. Yeah, it yeah. gets very hot so okay. that it can, it, it can weld it together. Uh, this is semi-unique in the fact that uh, in, this, uh, in this weld mold, 
we can actually put somebody's logo and some specification for the materials on there. Which will print into the mask. Yeah, print yeah, into yeah. the mask, so that gives you the opportunity that if you've got a, a client, if you're a, if you're a mask manufacturer and you've got a client, let's say a food manufacturer mm -hmm. or something like that, you're able to be able to put their logo on there and in some countries where they have uh, occupational health and safety or they have a specific requirement, we're able to, to have the material specified to the type of mask uh -huh. that they're making and then they can identify that the, the employees or the people they're giving the mask to are wearing their mask and it's up to standard. Okay, so a corporate can have their brand on there? Correct. Oh, wow. Correct. Cool. And, and also at the same time, you can be sure that the mask you, the mask is made to the standard that you it need needs for be. your organisation because, because sometimes they're not having any mask. That's correct. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. sometimes the, the the mask material they they need specific uh, specification for the mask material for let's say for a meat packing or even for a nail salon where yeah. they have to make sure that the that the the, the employees or the staff are protected. Uh -huh. So you can do anything from, from uh, someone who has a problem with breathing, so you can have different types of materials, yeah. up, to, up to medical. Uh -huh. So on the medical one, generally the top layer uh, needs to have a certification for blood penetration. Okay, so that's pretty important. And then once, once it's welded, it feeds through this machine and this is where it's cut? Correct, okay. that's correct. So what happens with that goes through from the welding, it goes through the roller, and then this is cut to size. And you can cut to different lengths, right? Correct. Uh -huh. Most of the cutting uh, size comes from the diameter of the cutting uh, loop. Okay. So what happens is if you use a greater diameter, then obviously the mask will be slightly longer. Mm -hmm. If you use a shorter diameter, then the mask will be shorter. Sure. And then once it's cut, it goes, what then, down these conveyors here? Yeah. At this stage, the mask is complete. So this machine, yeah. this machine is sort of uh, this is the main machine. Even though it's it's uh, quite short, it has all the facility to make the body of the mask. So okay. here we have the digital uh, digital uh, control. So we're able to control all of the parts of oh, the we, mask. We can have it in English as Correct. well. Look, yeah. Correct. A okay. surgical mask molding machine. So we're able to to make sure. So this has come to the end of the line here. Now, it has a sensor on here to make sure that there's no jamming on the following. This is, this machine, this part of the machine here is a sorting machine. So the sorting machine has, also has its own digital specific, uh, has own digital control here. Uh -huh. Plus it has a speed control for the two, con the, the two um, conveyor belts that are on here. We can have up to three, so we have, can add an additional one. Okay. So what happens is you can even, if you want to uh, specifically use one machine or two machines or you want to run faster on one side than the other, it gives a, feedback, that, yeah. gives a feedback to here which actually flips the mask. Okay, so and then it goes off to have the ear loops put on next. Correct. What it does uh -huh. is go down, the, down the, the conveyor belt and then moves its way through the ear loop machine. So the ear loop machine then will attach one side Right, and then come across to the other side. So you'll uh -huh. see there that it has a, both a cutting, a cutting tool as well as a welding tool. And uh, this looks like a complicated little bit of machinery here, so uh, yeah. quite looking forward to seeing that running. Yeah, that, this, uh, this is unusual in that most of the companies in, uh, in China and in many countries are using what we call a semi-automated ear loop machine. Mm -hmm. Semi-automated ear loop machine means it's manually operated with uh, someone that's pressing a foot pedal. Yeah. And, and so what we've found in the past is when we're talking to our clients and when we've been looking for uh, an improvement in the system, we're uh -huh. looking for a way of less manual handling. Sure. Right? We're, we're trying to find something which, uh, which is more sanitized or more, less germs so that we have manual handling on this. Okay. So once it goes through this process, the next part of here is actually a sorting part, a uh, sorting uh, um, center. So this okay. part here can stack as many 
mass in uh, on top of each other as you require. And this is before it goes off to pack. So you could send them off to the packing machine singly or five at a time or ten at a time. Correct. Correct. And then that will go through the packing machine, seal them in a package, and then that's pretty much a finished product, right? Correct. Okay. So this one, this one will will stack them. So before it goes on to the line to be packed. It can stack them and, as you said, singularly, five, ten. What, what's the optimum? Ten's the, more or less the optimum. Once you, once you pack ten masks, that's, that's the reason you've got this part here, is actually to stamp it down. Because before oh, okay. it goes into the packing machine, the, it, if the masks are too loose, they have a chance a problem, of falling yeah. over. So, so it so kind of compresses them a little yeah, bit, correct. yeah, and then, and then it correct. goes off into packing. You have the option uh, with, with this as well to be able to pack this into boxes at this stage. Mm -hmm. So you could actually use this to pack 50 masks into a box into a and then box. move it along the line. It really depends on the customer requirement, I guess. Yeah, correct, yeah. correct. And the type of mask. Generally, the disposable mask could be packed anything up to 50, whereas anything medical or something generally wants singular Sure, packing. yeah. Okay, great, yeah. That's cool.